Dr. Kemi, over to you. Well, I wouldn't say I'm totally against the panel, but I'm right now, as of this moment, okay, I'm going on a TV show tomorrow morning, Arise, Silverbird, everybody, but as of right now, 11.30 p.m., I'm 50% against the panel for naming the Lecky Tollgate and SARS Tollgate. It's absolutely wrong to create a memorial where protester destroyed somebody else's property. You cannot rename that toll gate. LCC will never allow it. The protester destroyed Lagos, but let's forget Lagos. They destroyed that toll gate. And we can now, understand that the army went there shooting people. Um, um, sorry, um, here's my thought. You know, here are my thoughts. Um, for those whose lives were lost, I think it is okay to name the toll gate and SARS toll, my, my humble opinion. I think NSAS Tollgate, I might not agree 100%. You must but... not rename it, please, <laughs> until the federal government admits to it. Lai Mohammed is still saying today that there was no massacre. People got my own statement wrong. I chased bodies into two mortuaries, and I didn't have to, okay? What I'm saying is that I could not find one single like it. body. Like it. Because I couldn't find one body, the whole of Nigeria said, Kemi Olula and said there was no shooting at the toll gate. There was a shooting. I saw the army. Two guys were shooting in a formation. I saw the video, but I was on top of 1004, watching it and videotaping it. And I saw them picking people into the hillocks, picking bodies, and I tweeted it. I was the only journalist in the world that tweeted it. You've seen the tweet. Release the corpse. Release the protesters. Release the corpse. What does corpse mean? Doesn't that mean dead body? So I don't know why people are dragging me on social media. I was the only one that was tweeting that and I was watching it live. And after all that, all I have is they're, they're classing me with Motola and other people who said the shooting didn't happen. The shooting happened. And the journalist that was in the press conference with Laim Mohammed, I'm sorry, those journalists were very daft. This last press conference of one year anniversary, you sit in a press conference with the Minister of Information telling you that there was no massacre because there are no bodies. Maybe we couldn't find the bodies. Kemi Oluya couldn't find the bodies. Maybe you disposed of the bodies. That's all I was saying. And the world is all over me now, all over Twitter, accusing me because of simple English. Nigerians are not good with English. Illiteracy. You said there was nobody that died. I didn't say nobody died. I couldn't find one single human body that died. They hid them. I went to two mortuaries. I have all the tweets. They're out. 2020 tweets. So at the end of the day, okay, I feel that the panel, let me tell you about the panel. All journalists cover the panel. During the time we were covering the panel, there were times when I called Shegwan Wusoya. I called him at home and I asked him specific questions because he was in that panel. Don't forget that Shegwan and I worked on NSARS before those girls hijacked it. The girls that hijacked NSARS were the feminist girls of Feminist Coalition, and they took that protest to the street. It was not something to go to the street. We were not planning to go to the street. Shegun went to Abuja. He got several bills passed. No more this, no more that, no more extrajudicial killing. We'll, no, he did a lot of work. After all that work, you now walk in, you hijacked the hashtag. You went to Jack Dorsey of Twitter. He gave you a branded hashtag. He helped you raise 400 million naira with Bitcoin and everything. That's why they cut Twitter off. It's simple. I'm not for the people. I'm not for the government. People are pick a side. Don't ever tell me pick a side. I'm for the truth. And that's what investigation, investigative journalism is. These people are illiterate. They don't understand anything. The average 18 to 25 year old in Nigeria, Generation X, they're daft. I tell it like it is. Go ahead, Henry. Okay. You can't yeah. that gate. Sorry, sorry. They will not let them. Sorry, they will not let them rename that game. Go ahead. The findings of the panel. What is your take from the findings of the panel? What is your? Let take? me tell you what I take. What Justice Doris Okuabi said was that they must compass. They should not must. There's two different words. Must is different from should. They should compensate. Okay, the people that were killed and the people that were shot. And that will be the beginning of the healing process. True. Anytime we're you know, hit by bullets or something, somebody violates us. I'm suing the Nigerian police for one billion. Okay? My case is out there. The court's closed. So you didn't hear about it in the news. Now the courts are open. But we're waiting for Sheima Kinde to do the judicial panel for SARS or your state. 
because I'm the first to testify or how they kidnapped me 12 hours and took me to Port Harcourt. So Justice Okuabi's panel, I disagreed with. The army came, they stated their case. Okay, General Taiwo came, stated their case, everything. The army had very good evidence. The army had a video with all the protesters, men, women, and children, sitting down on the parking lot of Spa, Lecky, and Jack on Day, shop right, and they call them hoodlums. Those are the same people that were in the protester area. The same people were the hoodlums. The protesters were the hoodlums. The hoodlums were the protesters. At the end of the day, Freeze, I wasn't supposed to come on this show. Everything I'm telling you, and I want to tell on Silverberg tomorrow. I'm still going to go on the show, of course, but I'm giving you the exclusive. At the end of the day, a lot of people were saying they were not the hoodlums. They were not. So somebody called the hoodlums. They come out. Let's destroy this whole area. This was a soldier ant effect. If soldier ants line up in one place and you throw kerosene or fire on them or water, it will spread around and cause more damage. They will enter your clothes, everything. So the protesters were in denial. They destroyed that toll gate. And I don't think that toll gate should be named after any memorial of any sort. Now, let me tell you about the panel findings. They only have three dead. How many people did I say I found? People didn't follow my investigation because I'm not the big media. 800,000 um, 800, naira freeze for an investigation of 10 million naira. I raised 800,000. The fans that gave me gave me 500,000, I used 300,000 of my money. And I stopped. I have, when I say I stopped, some people say, why didn't I say it was inconclusive? This is not INEC. I'm not using that word. I stopped because I couldn't find any bodies. No human bodies. They had disposed of them. So now, how do we go with the panel finding of 24 missing? How do we go with what Justice Okuabi said? You, must comp you should compensate them. The only people you can compensate is the family of the three dead. I did mention that only three people died in Lekki. And from what I noticed, Nicolas Ibekwe of Premium Times said they drowned. Where is their autopsy? I need to see their bullets in their body. Nobody could produce that. This is why Stephanie Busari was tweeting rubbish on, on her CNN, on her handle. She cannot dare tweet it on the CNN hand. I've already called CNN the Atlanta. I worked there, okay? She didn't know I worked there. She was mocking me at one time. I called Atlanta and they told me that she cannot tweet what she tweeted on the CNN handle. So she tweeted on her own handle. She mentioned Fisaya Sherian, but Nicholas Ibekwe for that. Those guys did hard work. But Nicholas found three people who drowned, but we don't know if there was bullets on them. Victor Ibanga's mom told me that Victor did not die from bullets and that a trailer hit him as he was running away from the bullets. Today, he's in the panel, has been shot and killed. Why did the mother lie to a journalist? This is what we're talking about. Now, everybody in that list of the panel that had gunshot wounds should file cases against the government. The panel has vindicated them. They need to collect damages from the army. They need to stop lying Mohammed from continuing to say nobody was shot. People were shot. Okay? I couldn't find the ones that were killed, but people were shot. I saw it from above. I saw a video of two of them walking into the formation. I saw a lot of footage, and I saw that DJ girl taking a bullet out of somebody's whatever. You can't doctor that. That was Instagram Live. So the, the whole of Nigeria is just twisted. So Okuabi's report now is going to be hard because I need to tell you this, Freeze, nothing's going to happen. Nothing is going to happen. As long as we are still in government, um, because they won't get anything. Out of time, uh, and um, Henry has been here for a minute. Henry, what is Go your ahead, Henry. opinion? Greet Auntie uh, Dr. Kemi. How are you, Henry? And yeah. Own opinion. Dr. Kem yeah, Dr. Kemi, good evening. Over How here, I mean, I mean, fine. I mean, state of Maryland, you know. Oh, that's so, my state. Uh, now we are Baltimore. No, I live in Columbia. Ah, Columbia. Ah, you are rich, then. Henry, you are a rich man. <laughs> oh, Columbia, thought. <laughs> you want the cotton? <laughs> How's Columbia? She is still nice. She, there's no drugs and all that rubbish. Oh. No, 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 no. It's they still the way it is. Always mills. Oh, no. that's where I was. Oh, always mills. I know. My cousin. Yeah, so, well, what I want to say is yeah. only true that you can set us free in that country, you know. Uh, yeah. Why I say I, I am for, for the panel is because I want to use DJ Switch as a reference point, mm -hmm. you know. During that day, that uh, that that NSAS, uh shooting happened, I was like, because I followed, the, I followed that DJ Switch. When she was yeah. uh, screaming it, I saw it. It was life. So it was life. When, can't, the, can't that. Yeah, when the government yeah, when the government came to say something nothing never happened, man. I was so devastated. 
you know yeah. i feel like go and you know begin crush everybody one by one because this is what i saw because i'm, I'm over here streaming it when the lady was and i, I followed the lady so i was I, I saw everything that was going on so well what i want to say i, I don't want to like keep stressing what i want to say uh, thank god i mean they, they have concluded their investigation you know and we saw that people were involved you know, in, uh, they shot people and the the based on what they listed, you know, because what, what I was reading this morning, you know, just to say that, so everything was was uh, was exactly the way DJ Switch said it. So I'm just using that, uh, that uh, his own, you know, because since I followed her, you know, so I saw what happened and everything she said, it, it was the way it was that People we are shot, and people we are people we are missing. So that's what I want to say. It's only it's only the, it's only the truth that can set that our nation free, because if without 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 any truth, that nation will never will never will never will, will never be free from all these you know uh, calamities and atrocity that is going on. Because people are involved, blood and involved, uh, uh, blood are involved in everything. So for the fact it is a, a Nigerian citizen that died, we have to. You see that lucky target? If it is me, I will say that place should be demolished. I mean, there shouldn't be anything, in, you know, calling That's because there's say. a blood. Yeah, there's a blood spill on that. So that place should be, you know, a memorial ground because. People, some people who, who they, you know, that, that they were killed, that they didn't see. No, no. So where would they... Um, uh, Henry, let's not get carried away. I okay. would rather, my humble opinion, I would yeah. rather name the toll gate and SARS toll gate, but That's they can rating the toll gate because whether you like it or not, the toll gate generates income for people. People... Oh, yeah, for sure. Million. But, so yeah, for, for sure, but but it, yeah, but it, the priest it wouldn't serve the purpose. What it should be is it should be, in my humble opinion, nobody asked me, but this is what I'm saying. Emsas okay. but of course the toll gate okay. should come. Now the priest, I want to, I want, I want, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask, I want to, I want to ask if, uh, all of us a question in this life. Uh, okay, had it been there wasn't any bullish, would 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 they start burning Lagos? I mean, let's say. They didn't shoot anybody, you know. Things were calm, you know. They were doing their protest. What, what, what will, what, do, what do you think that would have happened to Lagos if they didn't shoot any any bullets? That's my Let question. Let me tell you what would have. Right. Let me Thanks. tell you what I think would have happened. Okay, I think I mean, go ahead. I had an idea that they were going to do something drastic when Sonwolu came back from Abuja, and I don't care if Sonwolu is watching. When he came back from Abuja, he told us he went to see Buhari and he gave a report. Buari said, do not disturb the protesters. They have a right to protest. Oshimba just said the same thing. The very next day, I was crying on a video. And I was saying, Ashiwaju, please have mercy on these children. I was saying it in Yoruba. Some people were wondering why I was crying. They didn't understand because Nigerians are generally not focused. I knew something was about to happen. I tweeted a casket and the flag of Nigeria, but no one got it. And I told only three people who lives in this house, this building, my neighbors would get into the car. Oh, Auntie Kemi, we're going to let you talk to chill. It started irritating me. You're going to chill. They turned the place into an amusement park. People were frying chicken on the road, playing table tennis, all kinds of stuff. Meanwhile, we could not get to the other side of Victoria Island. So people don't understand. I just, personally, I just had leg surgery. And I had to see my doctor in Via. I couldn't go to the doctor for 10 days. They locked this place down. Then they turned into a charade. Like I said, amusement park. So at the end of the day, I knew something was up. At 3 o'clock when they turned that billboard off, I called Shei Tinubu. I said, why is the billboard turned off? He said, because the governor just announced a curfew. And the curfew is at 4 o'clock. Okay, so you have to send your employees home. A lot of people had to send employees home. So that time was not enough. So the governor moved the curfew to nine o'clock. By six o'clock, it was dark. And the protesters did not even notice that she at Lodside Promo Media has actually turned the billboard off. Everything was now dark. I was interviewing Shore on my live video, Instagram Live. And Shore said the army just left Bonnie camp. 
The video surfaced and Sahara obtained the video of two Iloxes, an army coming from Bunny Camp straight to Lekki. I was live with Shawari when this was happening. At the end of the day, those two Hiloxes arrived and two men came out and they stood in a formation. I was on top of 1004. I didn't tell anybody that night. Only one person knew I was there, my landlord. When I was leaving and these kids are like, oh, um, we're going to chill at Lekki Tollgate. I said, do not go to Lekki Tollgate tonight. Because some of you are going there to relax. Do not go tonight. And my neighbor stood. If my neighbor had gone that night, I'd probably be the only tenant left in the whole building. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you, your question, Henry, was what would have happened? They yes. wanted to flush. They wanted to flush the crowd out. And let me tell you what they wanted to do. Remember, we said, Buhari said, you must not disturb the protesters. Buhari specifically said, the police must not disrupt the protesters. He did not say the army. He said the police. Immediately, I called my dad in Ibadan. I said, Dad, what is going on? My dad said he might be sending the army there to disperse the crowd. But how do you disperse the crowd when you send the army? The last thing I was thinking was they would shoot into the crowd. This is Tiananmen Square. That's even worse than Tiananmen Square. If you don't know Tiananmen Square and you're young on here, instead of you abusing Ken, your lawyer, old enough to be your mother's mother, go and Google things and learn things. Tiananmen Square, trees, you should know Tiananmen Square. You remember the Chinese guy standing in front of the tank? He said, come and shoot me. They opened fire into the protesters. Nobody knew it was yeah. going to be like that. Mr. Priest, so when they Dr. now opened fire and they were walking uh, in information, they were pulling their body and throwing it uh, in the truck. We have Nene here. Let Nene okay. also. Yeah, let, can I just yeah. make, make a statement? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Can I just say something? I'll remove you and yeah. add somebody. Well, well see, let me, I want to put this analogy. Yeah. Because if, if they didn't shoot, let me say everything goes back to the government because they are the ones that destroyed the Lagos at that time. Because had it been they didn't shoot that bullet, nobody would destroy anything. Yeah. You know, because they oh. say well, just that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm saying it. If they did not shoot that bullet, I don't think nobody would destroy anything in Lagos. Henry, you know, look at but what since Harry, Harry, say it no, again. No, what you just said, you just, you just answered a long term question. The Sorry, hoodlums, guys, who are the hoodlums? Was it, not, was it not the same people? No, 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 no because I they, they were, no, no, hold on. No, what I want to say is that I want to ask a question here. And yeah. this is from me being neutral, from me thinking. I remember I worked from home, so luckily for me, I didn't have to go out. But I remember the stress people who had to go out went through. This was the one-day protest. It wasn't a 10-day protest. The protest was literally going on and Two on. Two weeks. Now, how do you stop that? At what stage do you return economic activities back? Hold on. At, and how do you return economic activities back? especially in an economy that had just come out of COVID-19, is not well prepared, or oil prices are low, um, there's a huge, there's, there's, um, there's a lot of unemployment. The protest could not have gone on indefinitely. And if the government had to stop, you guys have, you've done this, let's listen to you guys. How do you stop such a protest when the people are saying, you know what, no, we're going to continue protesting indefinitely if okay let me I, say something hold on if i was in the government i would want one of my mandates would be to ensure the economic activities of the government go unabated mm -hmm. so how do i achieve this so in between bringing soldiers bringing police something must have happened and everything went south but what i'm trying to say is even without the uh, soldiers being there, that protest might still have, because it was going to get hijacked. Remember when Two-Faced Adibia wanted to have a, um, a protest, and he was mm -hmm. warned, he called it off. Mm -hmm. The reason why was because protest in Nigeria gets hijacked. And you need to understand that. Uh, <clears throat> I was lucky enough to survive. I was in um, during the xenophobia protest. Once again, they went to the mall down the road from my house. I was in traffic. And when they heard xenophobia, they didn't 
and they thought, okay, it was white people attacking black people. So they started beating up Chinese and uh, ready to kill anybody. They saw. <laughs> so, so a lot of lies. Understand that yes, we have a population of youth who understand what the problem is, but we also have a huge population, a larger population of people who lack enlightenment, people who don't have understanding, people who are hungry, and these people are ready to come to the street at the slightest provocation and hijack any uh, any protest. So I'm trying to tell you, Henry, that whether they had come out with the police or not, that protest will eventually have been hijacked or like turned into something else. Henry, that, yeah, Henry. I, yeah, I want to make a comment. It, yeah, I want, oh, it was, what, Henry, what county are you in, Maryland? Hold on. It was, I'm, Howard County. No. Howard, Howard County Police. How would Howard yeah. County Police deal with it if it was in Howard County? You know they're going to put tear gas to disperse the crowd. That's what I'm saying. Because yeah, they, yeah they, exactly, but not, not to shoot somebody now. Not to shoot, exactly. not to shoot anybody. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on, guys. What I understand by dispersing crowds is police use hot water or warm water, water guns. Water they, cannons. Water cannons. Thank you very much. They use tear gas right. and they, in extreme cases, rubber bullets. Rubber bullets, yeah. Yes. Per crowds. Now, if the protest was going on indefinitely, I'm just asking this as a suggestion, and they wanted to calm the crowd or say, you know what, everybody go home. How would they have been able to do it? Because if they had poured water cannon, it would have been a problem. So it's a bit dicey. Listen, I understand the Nigerians are going through in the hands of law enforcement. Even today on the radio, somebody called and said because he had Bitcoin app on his phone, he was beaten up and 50,000 naira, 150,000 naira was extorted from him. So the NSAS plight is definitely real. Uh, and then yeah. I, al I also worry for uh, bringing, I'm not very big on let, bringing. Let me, freeze, let me say something. Let me, freeze, let me say something. Yeah. Yeah, I want to say something. You see, this answers when when that when that answers was happening in in Lake uh, in Lucky Target, I was following it because it's like me watching movie now. Because when I turn on because because of the data, my data is unlimited. So I I watch people will be turning people I follow. You know they will be turning their this they showing. I think for me when I was watching it, it was well controlled. They weren't, they weren't making problems. Even we are seeing the security, you know, guiding people. People mm. were doing even their prayers, the Muslim and the Christian. I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't any division. Right. And I so much like it because that was the, the, the first protest I have seen in Nigeria was well controlled. You know, people were there controlled. So I didn't, I didn't, I, I, which, I wasn't even. Which I agree huh? with. But my word, yes, yes you're making sense. The protest was well controlled. Of but course, yes. While it now continued to linger, that was my issue. Freeze. How do you oh, return? Oh, okay, okay, freeze. Okay, 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 freeze. You, freeze. freeze. Buddy, you freeze. have to be on. Henry, sorry, Henry, sorry yeah. to cut you. I have to be on Silverbird in the morning with this same topic. Like, so I'm, go I'm going to. Yeah. Freeze, I'm Can going we... to leave because I have to go to bed. But listen, let me say something before I go. Henry, Nene, sorry. I, you, you guys have to hear this. There's something everybody's missing here. Even some of the commenters are still saying, Kemi said nobody died. Kemi did not say nobody died. Kemi said she did not find any dead body. That's how you say it. I don't know who died. I couldn't find one dead person with the army bullets. This is no. what happened that day. Where Freeze, Duro, Freeze, Duro, Jackie Sorrow. Henry, you're in America. Something happened that day that you may have missed. Why did they pick October 20th to disperse that toll gate? There's something that actually happened that morning. Freeze, if you remember vividly, that was the morning that they, no, they, they so came many to pull, people. They came, yeah, they came to pull the cameras. There no, was no, no, a camera. not that. Before that, even before all that, in the morning, 9 a.m., 8 a.m., a lot of people were killed in K2. Freeze, do you remember the K2 thing? The, when the riots went bad and the police were shooting in K2, the police was actually killing people in K2. We have all the videos. Harry, what happened is that the police were killing people in K2 and Fagba. People died in K2, Fagba, and Surulere in a 24, 48-hour period. On that particular morning of the 20th, several people were killed near TVC. 
They now entered TVC and they started to burn it. That was the last straw. They now decided everyone at Lekki Tollgate has to leave too. That's what prompted the six o'clock arrival. Because a Canadian journalist asked me today and said, why didn't they just disperse the crowd the next morning and use tear gas? I said, so many people died in Lagos that very morning. And I, I got to tell you that this is what prompted them. Eh? The Pell report and the CNN report seem to tally, but yet the government is saying otherwise. CNN went back. That. CNN refuted what they tweeted. Now look what happened. CNN said 30 people were shot and killed. They now came back and said, okay, we lied. We are retracting it. Now, if you look at the panel, the number of people is about that same amount CNN said was shot and killed. You see what I'm okay. saying? Okay, guys. Well, are they going to come back and say we were right? Yeah, can, I, can I say something? Can I say something? <laughs> yes. Say this, and I'm taking you out. 30 seconds. Go. Well, the, what I, I already say, the only thing that can set that country free is the truth. Without yeah. you, whatever thing we are doing, they don't like the truth. We can never, yeah. So since we don't like the truth, the country will still be t stagnant until justice is done. Because without justice, no peace in that country. So everybody, whom, yeah, whom, whom they, they have offended, the government must apologize and must compensate them. That is all I want to say in this life. Yeah. All right. going to happen. You know the government. So let me hand over to Nene. Nene, I must apologize. Henry did not have... uh, yeah, um, Guys, I'm so well, sorry. I'm not taking any sides. I'm just trying to balance the narrative. Ask questions here. Ask questions there. From once in a while, uh, sorry, once in a while, I might chip in something. Nene, how have you been? Um, I've been good, but like me listening to Auntie Kemi trying to say it was not this, it was not that. Okay, for me, I was in D.C. here. I follow everything that was happening in Nigeria. And I was with the protesters in D.C. We went to the embassy there. My son was the youngest among them speaking on the mic there and sat. Um, even Uncle Dele posted video that day we were at DC here protesting. I saw the live um, with the DJ that post um, the thing that day that it was happening. It was sad. It was terrible. I was crying. I was heartbreaking. So I don't know why you were sitting here. You said nothing like that happened. The report came out today. It, it happened or yesterday. Why can't you just say, I said this before. It was wrong. The report is right. Because we all saw what happened. I saw what happened on Instagram. My nine-year-old was sitting on the dining table there. He was having dinner. We saw what happened. He was heartbreaking. He was like, Mommy, can I go to D.C.? Can I go join the NSAT protest? So it Sad. If we're doing this thing, we're doing it. I'm not from Nigeria, but my kids are from Nigeria. So I was going to be there because we want to change this thing for the young generation. We want to change this thing for the kids. But if Penny <coughs> is still here, I don't know which side she's taking because she's just like on this side, on this side. Just I'm a journalist. I don't take sides. I'm not for the people and I'm not for the government. I'm for the truth. Oh, I, I don't That's know. what you guys want us to do. You want journalists to take sides. We can't take sides. I don't take sides. So what you said before and said, okay, I said this before and the report came out, it's not true. So I've lied to the people. Say sorry to the people. Say sorry. Never. Why would I say sorry to the people for what? For I did not find anybody, Nene. Nene, I did I not find any dead body and I'm sticking to it. People. I'm a journalist. You didn't pay for me. You didn't donate to my to my to my work. You didn't help me. I'm donate. not employed by TVC, AIT, all of them. The politicians own the station. Okay, I did not find any dead body. Twenty-four people are missing. Go back, like oh, Nene, you are not a Nigerian. Twenty-four people are missing. I couldn't find those people. Does that make sense now? I like intelligent people. Twenty-four people are missing. Twenty-four people are missing. Out. Can you say, okay, now that the report is out, I was wrong. I'm sorry. 24 people were missing. I was not wrong. I was looking for those people. Okay, so you're saying this report is, is, is all false or what?
on. What are you telling Let's me? Listen, simple English lady. I thought the report says 24 are missing. That report, those 24 are the ones that I could not find. I went to two mortuaries. Do you know what it is to go to two mortuaries? Do you know what it is to be tweeting the army and telling them I'm coming to Bonnie camp? And the army tells you, go to IDH. And I went to IDA. You need to go see my tweet, so don't come talking nonsense. You need to see the date on the tweet. The date on the tweet, 11, 11, 20. I don't okay. like sentimental people. Um, Face the truth, Nene. You're not even a Nigerian. And you're coming here saying, say sorry. Say sorry for what? Are you guys crazy? Uh, what? Dr. Emi, please. What? She's gonna cry. Stop it! Twenty-four people are missing. Nothing is going to happen. Twenty-four Nigerians are missing. Those are the ones I'm looking for. I have videos that I've handed out to international people. It's my business. I don't. I don't do sentiments. Please, please, please. I don't do sentimental stuff. Okay. Too much sentiments. Face the facts. Lying Mohammed is our minister. You're not a Nigerian. Our minister is sitting there lying that nobody was even shot. Oh, okay. Oh, Calm down. Calm down. Uh, I'm let's bow pepper room. Oh. Hold on, Nene. Nene is okay. Calm. 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 Pepe. Pepe. I don't want somebody that's not even Nigerian. Doesn't even know what's going on. You're doing it for one generation. So what generation are you doing it for? I, I a journalist is standing up, putting my life on the line. Do you know what it is to be fighting the Nigerian army? Do you know what it is for a journalist to be fighting the Nigerian army? Nigerian they hid army. those bodies from me, Daddy Freeze. Freeze, they hid those bodies from me because they knew I was coming for those bodies. Shebi Taiwo, the in charge, General Taiwo. Ibrahim Taiwo's son, like father, oh. like son. You are sitting here talking sentiments. You have never seen a real journalist because all the bullshit journalists you see are the ones. Um, Stop it. Quit that nonsense. No sentiments. Apologize to what? I did not find a body. Them, the not, bodies not, I was looking for. I did not find them. The panel said there were 24 of them missing. The end. I can't talk to this woman. Freeze, it won't be me job. Oh, yeah. I don't want all this kind of stupid sentiments. Please don't be upset. Everybody, please. And I beg, I beg you. I, I want to get... I can I be rude as much as you want. I'm not going anywhere. Nene, on. listen I carefully. Can, listen carefully. Can, Okay, I did not find a dead body at Lekki. Stop Auntie it. Kef, I no, want us to have no. a Nigeria where we can discuss. I'm fighting for those dead bodies. 24 people are missing. You are sitting here saying, journalists must say sorry. You think I'm going to go with all your lies and your sentiments? I'm wrong. Ah. Um, I'm not wrong. Nene, I'm 100% nene, right. Please. Okay, Pepe Room, how are you? How have you been? I like your hair. Oh, Daddy, Pepe please, hello. Pepe Room. this hairstyle? And I've done all the peppering now. No, it's my scarf. It's late at night, so I'm in bed, but I want to join this conversation. Because okay, look very, very nice. Pepper room nice. talk. Nice. What do you yeah. think? Good evening. Oh. Pepper room, please. Don't, so first don't of all, follow the bandwagon. Please. All I was looking for was dead bodies. <laughs> I was looking for dead bodies that against... they were throwing in their car. Um, mm -hmm. I'm against um, naming the um, toll gates. And the reason why I'm against it is because the victims of the massacre and their I'm families have not been compensated, first. right? Fantastic. So if the victims of the massacre haven't been compensated, ah, and, and the people have not Hold on, hold on, everybody. Network, network. The shot people like Mohammed cannot sit there and keep saying that nobody was shot. She's still saying it today. No, but and journalists but are we, not asking. I mean, I, I feel like with Lai Mohammed, we all know that, like, as Renu said, he's kind of like the minister of disinformation. All right, so, so everybody yes. knows that. Hold on, at hold this on. point, okay, uh, go ahead, Daddy Freeze. Network was bad. We lost your you. network, <laughs> my network. Yes, my network. It was fluctuating. I don't know why, but it's back now. Now, um, Pepe Room, you were saying something because I was of the opinion that it would make a lot of sense to name the toll gate NSAS toll gate in uh, memorial of uh, the fallen heroes. Yeah. Um, okay. That, uh, yeah, but my thing is with Daddy Freeze, the question that. is, 
Why? Are they going to name it Ensa's target and still be collecting money from us? Because at that point, you are kind of benefiting of the tragedy and we don't want that. Because when the tragedy happened, you took the cameras down. So you are not for the people. So now, what are your motives? What are the intentions? Why do you want to suddenly name it after the Ensa's protesters? What, what do you stand to gain? Because for us, it's like we know that these people always want to gain something from somewhere. So if you name it the Ensa's protesters, um, um, the Ensa's target, and people are still coming to pay you, when you could not even protect us with cameras that were available, you know? So that's, that's what I don't understand. I need them to first take accountability. I need the government to first compensate the people that died. I need the government to um, ac properly acknowledge the victims, first of all, their names. Acknowledge the victims. I want their names to be in history so we know that these are the people that died. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people were dead that day that they are just normal, common Nigerians. They're not the ones that just are just online or whatever. They're just common Nigerians that don't really have a voice. So I want to make sure that their names are remembered because that's very important to us. And we need a proper line of action, right? Because now I don't understand why Mr. Lai Mohamed is coming and still lying to us. I don't get it. How can you be the minister of information and be passing this information? Like, it makes no sense to me. You know what I mean? So that's, that's just what I don't get. I don't feel like them saying that they want to name the, the target, NSAS target, is from a place of being genuine. I feel it's disingenuous. I feel like it's not. They have an ulterior motive. I need sentiment. to know if they want to benefit from it. Uh, I feel like they want to shut us off with some sort of sentiment. They want to make us feel good. That's like it. they're helping no, us. That's what Nigeria is not like helping us. I the bad point because I was, yeah. I was, I am for considering the Nigerian economy and considering the rate of unemployment, I was like, okay, you can bring back the toll gate uh, because it's going to, there's, if you know the kind of unemployment, a gas cylinder, Tazebos was telling me, is now 20-something thousand. She said she, that the, the, there was a meal somebody ordered. The gas she used to cook the meal was more than the ingredients of the meal. <laughs> so, so right now, Nigeria is at a very precarious point. And if there's anything that can help with the unemployment, I'm always for it. And also, if that thing can also serve as a memorial. But you have raised a valid point because it doesn't make sense to now capitalize on the memorial. I, I understand it's like monetizing the memorial. Uh, this is what I said. Pepe Room, do you like, um, Pepe Room, do you like my idea? I want the toll gate not to be a memorial until they've actually did what you said. Acknowledge that it happened. And it has to come out of Lai Mohammed's mouth on behalf of the government. Acknowledge that the army actually came there and shot people. We saw it. And the army admitted in the panel. Now, my own thing is I want them to demolish the toll gate. That's the only way you can put a memorial. Put a memorial there, but the toll gate will not be there. Demolish it. Let cars just pass. And let the memorial, the plaque, something happened here. That's what I want. You can't have the toll gate, put a memorial, rename it, all that, and still be collecting $9.6 billion a year. That's how it is. Nigerians are sentimental. I'm not for sentiments. And then the protesters also destroyed the toll gate. So that's my problem there. They destroyed that toll gate. The um, yeah, but Dr. Nigeria. Komi, I don't agree with that, though, because you, we, can't, we can't tell people how to protest because it's civil unrest. When people are protesting, they are telling them that we don't like the system of government that is currently existing. You are not for us. So you cannot tell us how to express how we feel because people are dying. Like the people that the SARS officer, officers have been killing, they didn't tell us that, okay, I'll kill you this way. They killed them. Do you understand? They killed so people. for us, for me as a Look person at me. that was there. Pepper, I'm sure you are aware that I saw people being executed. When I was in Port Harcourt, I saw people being executed in, in SARS in Port Harcourt. And that's what caused my PTSD. Okay, many of these stupid young people, they don't understand to have somebody executed in front of you. Two young men, 18 and 20 years old, killed, killed in front of me. And I saw them alive because they stole a car. They didn't go to court. Extrajudicial, no court, nothing. Okay, some people sit on this Twitter bandwagon, but they don't see life. They don't know how it is. You know, you know what I mean? For me, I've been talking to a lot of Canadian and American journalists because I'm going on Fox Live about this tomorrow. What I want is no toll gate, okay? But before that can happen, it's going to be very hard with LCC. LCC is saying they destroyed our toll gate too. 
memory ako, memory ni. The bottom line is that the government has to acknowledge the report first. And today, Lai Mohamed saw the report and told the media, once again, the damn mainstream media, who you are all supporting, did not ask him simple question. If I was in that press conference, if I was in Abuja, living in Abuja, I would be at that press conference. Minister Lai Mohamed, why are you still saying that there was no shooting at the gate when the army has already admitted in the panel and it's in the report here? Nobody talks. These journalists just sit there. And Lai is still saying nothing happened. Go read the stories on Sahara reporters now. Okay. Um, Dr. Kemi, please, uh, Nene, I'm so sorry for keeping you. You are the most patient person I know. Any husband that marries you will enjoy I'm not patient. I don't like liars. <laughs> I'm not patient. Please, no, let me go. Nene, um, oh, um, Nene, um, bye-bye. Um, Pepper Room. 8 a.m. Silverbird TV. All right. Well, ten I want to mm. Dr. Kemi, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Let so me do my waving. Let me um, do my waving. They like uh, me when I'm on Arise News and Silverbird. Let them watch me there. But you, I love you. That's why I'm here. Take care, friends. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate bye -bye. you. Bye bye. All right. Take care, everybody. Bye. So, my darling, Nene, um, I apologize for holding you so long. Please. Oh. Um, go ahead and share your own uh, opinion. Let me see who else I can bring. Uh, the Black Mentor. Guys, please, um, this is a discussion. We have to be civil. If you're not civil, if you start throwing insults, uh, hello. hello. If you start That's throwing great. insults. So let me, let me tell you, yeah. You've seen how the conversation has been. It's been civil. It's been as civil as we could have made it be so please no insulting government or insulting protesters yeah. or yeah. just your opinion this is what i feel and this is how i feel uh this is the way forward so please go ahead uh nene first then you okay so what i was gonna say again um... nene your phone your your audio is very low Naming the um the toll Good. gate um <laughs> after the people or answers is the is the NSAS problem solved? I think that's the problem. That's where we should go again. Just like Auntie Kemi said, I'm not a Nigerian. Yes, I know. But my sons are Nigerian. So I know one day I'm going to go back there. We're going to go live there. So is the NSAS problem solved? Is it not still going on? I think that's if, if it's still going on. I don't see any reason why they should go name that thing. I think people should go back to solve the, solving the problem. The problem is still still not solved. We should go back to solving the problem. And again, if people protest, like you see that kind of crowd there, allow them to stay till night and they leave. Don't send the army there. If you send the army there, you're going to like make the thing go from bad to worse. Like, it's never a good thing when you send the army there. I think the police should have been there. But again, the people were protesting against the police. I've been to Nigeria. I've saw it. I know what, what this police, they were just, I went there like, I see police checkpoints everywhere. The country where I came from, we don't have checkpoints like that. I was like, what's going on here? Like everywhere, they would just stop you on the road and start asking you questions, all of that stuff. I was not used to that. I asked questions when I was there. So, and I was thinking Auntie Kemi was going to say sorry, but since she refused to say sorry to young Nigerians, like someone like my son that was in D.C., the whole of the day, we were in D.C. there protesting against NSAS. She was like, no, I'm not going to do it. You're not a Nigerian. You're not this. I think it's African problem. Like, if something is happening in Nigeria, it's my problem. I'm African. I'm black. Um, so, um, yeah. I might have mm -hmm. to correct you here. So uh, permit me to correct you. Um, yeah. You're not Nigerian. It's a fallacy. If you have sons... All you need to enter a family or a country is sons. You have given us sons. You are Nigerian. Uh, so, That's why I thought I'm a Nigerian. Is valid. But she was like telling but, me like... Yeah, this is an open discussion. And this is what we must encourage. Democracy, even the person who is wrong has a right. Let me give you an example. In America, why don't you have bottles on defense the way you have in Nigeria? 
Because the armed robber that is going to jump into your house, if he gets <laughs> injured, he will kill you and win. So yeah. armed robber in a democracy has rights. So whether you're right or wrong, it doesn't matter. I want to teach us democracy, which means everyone has uh, a perspective. Auntie Kemi has a perspective. Nene has a perspective. Um, the gentleman who just joined us, who's going to introduce himself, also has a perspective. Pepe Room also has a perspective. We might agree at some point and uh, be divergent in our opinions in other points, but we must learn to respect one another. And that yeah. is what I'll appeal to us all. So let me use this medium to introduce the gentleman. Please introduce yourself and let us hear your views. My name is, J first and foremost, I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> if you're not in Nigeria, and there's no bailout for you because you can't have songs like that. <laughs> so thank you for bringing me on, um, Daddy Freeze. I actually found your page no from friend of, friend of Mokre, um, uh, my one of my mentors. My name is Joseph James Nantoma. I'm from Port Harcourt. I live here in the oh, United wow. States. Um, my brand is called The Black Mentor. And um, you just Google The Black Mentor, you see what I do here. Uh, when these whole SaaS things started, the day Macaroni was arrested and the other 10, a lot of people don't know this. I was the one who gave the monies to be built. I gave one million naira to build Macaroni and all the other people. And I was following this event. I'm not somebody who comes and talks a lot. People like Alibaba, Daya Dene, Reno, they've all been to my house here. I recently hosted um, Reno in my, in my house, I think last month. This issue we're talking about, about the toll gate, is a very delicate issue. And, you know, lives are involved. When lives are involved in things, you do not place sentiments with them. And the truth of the matter is, you know, anybody can come here and talk. But if it was their kids that were shot, I'm a parent. If it was your kid that was shot, you will not sit on your bed or lay on your bed and give such narratives. The truth of the matter is we all saw it live. We saw it live. A lot of us were watching it here. People were being shot and they were screaming. You know, you were talking about a gun. I own a gun in America. When I was in Nigeria, I didn't understand how fatal a gun is till I came here. When you are shooting into a crowd, what do you think you're actually trying to do? What do you think is going to happen? You are aiming to kill. I have lawyers here who um, help me. You know, they, they have a law. Like when you have a gun, you need to have a backup line. Because like you said, if an armed robber comes to my house, and this is the way the law puts it, if an armed robber, if, if your child falls into, if your phone falls into a water, Will you jump into the water to save your phone? The answer is no. But if your child falls into the water, will you save your child? The answer is yes. So if an armed robber comes to your house in America and he's carrying your television and he's running away, you cannot shoot him or her. But if that person is coming after you, putting your own life in danger with a knife or with a weapon, you have a right to shoot the person. So with these um, tactics of engagement, and we have a military who is trained to defend the country, then you go and you carry a gun and you're shooting into a crowd. Please, what do you actually think was going to happen? In my opinion, the military went there to kill people. They were there to disperse them at first, but when the moment you started shooting into the crowd, you were shooting to kill. There is no way you shoot a bullet and you tell a judge in a court that I was shooting to scare him. And you're not shooting up, you're shooting into the crowd. Now, with the report that just happened, uh, that just came out, I think it was yesterday, I wasn't aware, I think it was yesterday or today the report came out, I've been following that report. In fact, I had to suspend everything that I was doing to dive into this. So the moment I saw you come alive and you were discussing this, that's why I decided to join. The truth of the matter is lives have been lost and compensation has to take place. It's only in Nigeria where, I mean, um, a, a report comes out and the government sets up a panel to look into things and they come out and they're still debating it. What are you debating? If you trust the people you put on the panel, it's like when you go to court in a jury, you put this, we say, okay, these are selected people we trust in the society to come and give us a judgment. Once they say the person is guilty, one, two, three, four, five, or 12 as it, it is, they are guilty. The person is guilty. If they say the person is not guilty, the person is going home. So if you put a panel, the reason why you put a panel is because you want to know 
what is the facts of this matter. The facts are out. Why are people sitting down there and still saying that, oh, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the minister is in there saying people were not killed. Meanwhile, we had respectable people, in my own words, or in the government, you know, thinking. Respectable people you put in the panel to see and hear issues, hear from different quarters. And they finally gave you their report. I strongly think, number one, that toll gate should be demolished. I think, number two, every single person who came forward, who has been harmed or maimed or died, should be compensated. And I think a memorial should be put in place in there. And that is my take. I don't see the games they are playing. I don't, I don't want to even take sides with any of those nonsense everybody's talking about. The truth of the matter is, brother, when you're picking, die. Not to speak, but when you're picking, die. All this nonsense people are talking. If it was one of these governor's children that died there, it's not what they're talking, they talking about. It's not what, they've made enough money. I was in Nigeria when they built Lekki, that Lekki Toge. They've made enough money. They should put it down. They should honor the people that have fallen and they should compensate them. That is my take right now. All right, thank you, Black Mentor, for your opinion. Uh, like I said, I have no opinion today. I'm just moderating. Pepe Room, final thoughts. Um, final thoughts, Pepe Room, what is your take? Oops, I think we've lost Pepe Room. Um, I think we've lost Pepe Room. Oh, this is so sad. Yeah, the network, obviously, you know, in the ninth over there, the network is good. I don't know where she is. Yes. Yeah, the network will be very, very poor. Hi. All Hello. right. We have Mary. Did I get that correct? Yes, Mary. All right, Mary. Hi. What is your take? You're my final um, contributor uh, this evening. Share your thoughts. Okay. First of all, good evening, everyone. And um, where are you? If I I'm, uh, I'm in Canada and it's um, 6.45 p.m. I forgot to mention, the last time I came on here, I forgot to mention that I'm a product of Mrs. Maranda Olarinde. She was my provost. Oh, and my... Now, <laughs> your mom. Okay. Yes. And, and, yeah, 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 yeah. So she was, she's amazing. So um, anyway, straight to the point. First of all, I'm actually amazed at the fact that people are still talking about whether NSAS happened or not, whether people died or not. It's so painful because it is so sensitive. Like he said, lives were lost. I was on the live video of which, and I'm like, I saw every time, I saw people trying to take out bullets from, you know, the kneecaps of other people. I watched it live, and we know that Instagram live is not something that can be doctored. You cannot doctor Instagram live. And with due respect to Dr. Kemi, but I saw her tweet. As she was speaking, I was reading her tweet. She actually said it bluntly that nobody died. So if I was on live when she was on live, I would have actually talked about it. I would have actually countered her statement and read it out word for word, her tweet. But anyway, that's, either that's on the side. However, people have died. The panel is talking about dismissing, talking about uh, renaming. We're talking about reparation. People died. How do, we, how do we compensate for the loss? How do we say, okay, you that you lost this and this. Okay, let's, um, how do we compensate? What are we going to do? How can we make your life easier going forward? What can we do? The government is still arguing. Lai Muhammad is still lying through his teeth and talking through from the two sides of his mouth. It's so painful. We shouldn't be talking about renaming and doing this. No. Kopu gave the order. Because those soldiers, I'm not a military personnel, but at least I understand that military um, personnel don't just, you know, do things without being, how do I put it, without, you know, going according to order. They work with orders a lot. Who gave the orders? Who sent those boys to come down and start shooting? If their idea was to disperse the crowd, they could have used rubber bullets. They could have come with hot water. They could have come with gas, tear gas. They could have done so many things. But they went with live ammunition. 
as far as I'm concerned, intent was to kill and to destroy. No more. No more. Nothing more. No. And the government is still saying that nothing happened. It's like you're telling me, even if Jesus Christ came down from above, they will lie to his face that they didn't do it. That the freeze, it's unfair. It's painful. And it's sad that Nigeria, that's supposed to preserve its youth, is killing its youth. They should be talking about compensation, reparation, and ju justice. Those people involved, from people that gave the order to those that carried out the order to everything. Even the board members of that Lekki Toge, they should all be talking about compensation now. And not, oh, you did this. You didn't do that. Are you sure it happened? Basically telling us that La Ensas was a figment of our imagination. That It's not fair. People have lost their breadwinners. People have lost, you know, some youths that could have made a difference in this country. A lot of people could have made a difference, but they are dead today. I understand that, you know, and the protest was hijacked by some people, but that's normal in every part of the world. That is normal. Protests are always hijacked. Even Black Lives Matter, I'm sure if I pick up the call and call someone in America, they'll tell me that Black Lives Matter was... In fact, if we saw it now, some stores were getting... Of Some stores, you yeah. know, expensive stores were getting looted. Yeah, well, it's not my one of the cases. Uh, excuse me, mm -hmm. One of the cases is in court today. I live in Wisconsin, in Kenosha. There was a young man that was trying to defend, allegedly uh, trying to defend himself, and shot some protesters. Today is the day the, uh, the the court is going on. You cannot control a crowd. And you see, this thing we're talking about. This is a country. I lived in Nigeria close to forty years before I left. Has Nigeria become good? So you cannot control people who are protesting. No. Why? They, they are the ones that know where the shoes is paining them. Mm. You cannot okay. come and uh, tell me that this is how I'm going it, to cry. It, it, this can go on forever. Yeah. I appreciate so, the fact that yeah. uh, you all came and shared your views. And that is what I want to encourage. I noticed some people are insulting Auntie Kemi. Please don't insult her. She you shared don't. her. It might not be right. Um, in your eyes, or she might not be right, or you might not be right. Allow people to talk. This, this is, this is, this is what can help move Nigeria forward. Everyone has a suggestion. You, you see, when we disagree with each other, let's not bash each other, especially with regards to politics, because Nigeria is a very dynamic country, and um, we need, uh, we need solutions. So, thank you all um, thank you for having I, me. Compensation is what everybody is talking about. I can pick that word. Yes, compensation should be the next, um, the way forward right now. It should be what uh, everybody should be pushing for uh, right now. And also, I would like to hear the government side. Okay, this is our side. Don't you think it would be nice if we guys heard from them too? It would be very great. If the government... Daddy, we hear it from Lai Mohammed since. Because what have we gotten from Uncle Lai? We've gotten lies, and you know, we've, been, we've gotten denials, lies that we are stupid. What happened? Hearing from the what I don't happened think in Poland this year, Daddy Freeze. Mm. The entire country came out. You know, the thing that I always tell Nigerians is the people holding Nigeria, they are not up to twenty thousand. Good. If you put all this number together, not up to twenty thousand people. If Nigerians can, and I'm not, I'm not inciting, if Nigerians can come together as one body and march on the streets, we will change Nigeria in 24 oh, hours. There is power that, in numbers. Always say this. That is why they pick pocket a few people, give them money, and these people come and start playing sentiments, start playing gimmicks, start playing mm -hmm. with the mind of Nigeria. Nigerians are suffering. Suffering. I, we are here. We are in diaspora. We are the ones that know because we said those of us that God has touched our heart, we give. Oh. And it's not because we are we are we are right, but we give back to. So Nigerians are suffering. People are suffering. Somebody cannot even be proud that they have uh, fifty thousand dollars, uh, fifty thousand naira. What's fifty thousand? Fifty thousand naira in their account. Grown men will come into your neighbor and tell you, "My children have not eaten today." So let's stop this thing. We're saying you control how people are protesting. You cannot. This man is hungry. He has to express himself the way he knows how to. Mm. I think like they it. should dismiss the soldiers. I don't know if that is the best idea to just dismiss them. Court martial them, but if you're dismissing them, don't just dismiss them and let them go back on the streets. Because the last time I checked, a lot of soldiers, no disrespect to the army, but a lot of soldiers aid and abet 
arm robbers, you need to either lock them up for life or give them or send them to some rehabilitation center, but just dismissing them, letting them come into the streets, that is recipe for disaster. That's putting more people at risk. And angry soldiers on normal day, they don't earn a lot of money. So if you put, you're putting them back on the streets not to earn nothing, you're basically sending them on a kill mission. So I think they should either rehabilitate them or lock them up for life or something. But don't just dismiss them that, oh, you took part in inside. No, they were acting on orders. They were acting on orders. The main mastermind who gave uh, the order. Mary... Thank you so much. Like I said, this discussion can go on for the next 10 hours. Um, but we, I, I have to put an end to it now. Right. Hopefully, same time tomorrow. Uh, black Mentor, did I get that right? Got it, the Black Mentor. You got it, sir. Black Mentor, thank you so much for coming. Thank you, um, Nene, my darling sister, who has Nigerian sons and is Nigerian. And also... <laughs> Emmy and Henry the Great, who all joined tonight to share their own opinions. Thank you so much, everyone. I look forward to having a uh, nice you as well. God bless you. Thank, Thank you.